Great questions. Hello, Berwick. My name is Julie Smith. I work for Great Falls Construction and I'm closely involved in the Edge at Berwick project. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, this is our 11th community update meeting and it's October 20th. Um, so thank you so much for tuning in. Slide here. If you have any questions at all today or really any time, please don't hesitate to reach out. My email address is right on the screen and the office numbers there as well. Call anytime during business hours, happy to chat. We also have a Facebook page, The Edge at Berwick. So feel free to send us a message there um, and we'll get back to you as soon as we're able. So today's agenda, if you've, if you've uh, watched any of these before, it's very similar to the agendas of, of meetings past. We'll have a recap of our mission and objectives, timeline updates of what's happened so far and what continues to happen looking forward, and then our plan. Um, our site plan and the um, and the plans moving forward, as well as the rendering of the existing building. So again, uh, if you've been here before, this is our 11th meeting. I've gone over the admission, I think, every session. So I'm, for the sake of time, going to skip over it. But certainly, if you haven't had the chance to read over what our mission is, um, I encourage you to pause and take a second to look into what the mission of the project is. Same thing with the objectives. We look forward uh, to pursuing these objective, objectives, continuing to pursue them. Uh, what we've heard from our listening sessions and continual conversations with the community are looking back. We purchased the site in October, 2019. Again, I've gone over this in, in great detail in past sessions. So I'm gonna cruise right through um, to where we are right now, the last uh, few months here. So we went to planning board for a sketch plan um, application back January 7th, 2021. Um, and then throughout the winter, we worked on uh, from that meeting, there was some feedback. So we worked on revising our plans based on that feedback. And um, just a side note about planning board, if you are interested, it is televised and the link is um, included in the slideshow here. Uh, Burr Community TV does um, record the planning board meeting. So certainly if you're interested, please uh, make sure to get involved. So as you know, we did demolition this spring uh, and cleanup, picking up cleanup throughout the summer. Uh, we also uh, submitted our DEP, Department of Environmental Protections permit, which is required, a site law application permits required for any project larger than three acres. So of course this project falls beneath that umbrella for any new construction. So that DEP permit does take some time to come back to us, uh, take some review, uh, you know, a review period for the DEP. And that's generally six months. So we submitted it this summer and I think we expect it back um, in January of 2022. So no new construction on site of new buildings can take place until we have that permit in hand, among others, but that's generally speaking, the largest lead time item um, for new construction on this project. So on September 16th, we went back to planning board for kind of our first uh, first official meeting uh, post sketch plan, which like I said, took, took place in January. Um, if you missed that meeting, I have a link to just the BCTV um, uh, website, which in which they're archived on there but we um, discussed the project with the planning board. Um, and if you're not familiar with the planning board process, it is um, the process every town, most every town takes to get new projects um, or, or projects approved in general. And I know your um, planning board is very active. And so I encourage you to, to, uh, to tune in and um, to, uh, ask them any questions you have. It's, uh, it's a great way to get involved. So today, here we are at 11th community update session, and this fall, uh, which has come really quick, um, is, is when we anticipate to get started on the renovations for the L-shaped building. I keep calling it the L-shaped building. It is going to be rebranded into 12 Sullivan Street, but the L-shaped building is the existing building on site, and so we're excited to get going um, and make that, you know, that, that uh, shine, that project shine, so we're really excited for that. We are in discussions with some tenants, really excited about, about that. And um, certainly when that's public information and, and the tenants are comfortable doing so, uh, I'm sure either they or, or, or we, if, if they let us, will announce who those, those folks are. Um, so this fall and early winter, we'll continue to go through the planning board process. Um, again, I have this blue box up here in the corner that, that indicates 
what the planning board is, who it's made up of, and, and what they do. Certainly an important uh, part of the process uh, locally. So um, so yeah, I, I that's that's sort of what we plan to do this um, fall through the early winter. And then, like I said, we anticipate the large permit, um, large bleed time item permit through the DEP back in January of 2022. And once we have that among the other permits, we can really um, get started on some new construction. And so uh, once we have the, the permits in hand and we're approved and um, for everything that we need to be approved for, we'll be ready to get going. We anticipate that to be in the springtime um, because obviously the ground in in the winter time is not ideal for new construction given its frozen status. So uh, unless we have a very mild winter, um, things might change, but right now we're targeting for spring 2022. Um, and yeah, along the way, certainly countless opportunities to, to get involved and we're also really easy to find. So if you're interested in talking to us and getting updates directly, don't hesitate to just pick up the phone. It's, uh, it's, it's, pretty, um, it, it's pretty great how many of you have spoken to one-on-one -on -one and I encourage you, uh, you know, if you have any questions, concerns, suggestions, don't hesitate to, to be in touch. The site plan, uh, again, I'm going to kind of cruise through this. Um, if you didn't get a chance to uh, attend the planning board meeting, I encourage you to check it out um, on the BCTV's website, um, archived there, but we go in detail kind of about the site plan, and you've likely seen this before, um, so I won't spend too much time on it. And so finally, I do want to just um, unveil the, um, the L-shaped building, the 12 Sullivan Street rendering. Many of you might have seen it, you posted it online, um, but if you don't, if you aren't active on online, um, I'll, I'll share it here. So this is the existing building that fronts on Sullivan Street uh, next to the block of, of existing um, businesses downtown uh, right now, across from Town Hall. And so you'll see this is the, this is the perspective, if you will, of um, the building from Town Hall. And this is kind of a, also the perspective straight on from, from Town Hall as well. And so, um, of course, it doesn't include what's to come or, or, or some of the buildings that exist, but just a rendering um, that we got done of, the, of that one building to give you a sense of, of what it'll look like and how we intend to renovate it. So we're really looking forward to this uh, and we're working really hard. You know, we're all, um, we're all aware. I don't have to remind anyone, but we are still working through a pandemic. So there are long lead time items on a lot of materials that we, um, that we use in construction every day. So it's, uh, it's something we're working on navigating as it relates to the schedule. Um, but we're certainly excited to get going and we are really make, actively making plans to get there. So, um, so yeah, it's a really exciting time here. And other than that, we're continuing to, to work on the feedback from the planning board um, from the September 16th meeting. And we intend to get back on the agenda, like I said, late this fall, um, um, later this fall and early, you know, into early winter. And um, so yeah, it's an exciting time. And that's pretty much all I had for an update uh, right now, really quick hit kind of update. Um, and like I said, if you haven't tuned into these in the past, I do encourage you to do so. It's, I think we, we go over in detail what's happened already. So um, I think any of those questions can easily be answered um, in one of the previous update sessions, which do live on the Berwick, Berwick Community TV website um, underneath the edge. So um, we just, we just can, uh, appreciate your continued support, your continued engagement. Like I said, we are in discussions with quite a few tenants, all of whom I think you find really appropriate for a downtown setting. And uh, we're really excited about, about the interest from, from, uh, from really great business owners and great people. Um, so I think you all will be really excited once, once uh, things are finalized and, and moving forward. Um, so again, thank you for staying engaged. Thank you for staying interested in the project. Please like our Facebook page if you if you do use Facebook, um, it's a good way to stay in the loop on what we're, what we're up to. Um, like I said, though, feel free to pick up the phone as well. My phone number's at the bottom, and as well as my email. So our next uh, community update session will be in December. And any questions in the meantime, again, don't hesitate to reach out. And I think that that is just about it. This is final, my final slide. Any questions? Uh, again, there's my contact. To view uh, past community update sessions, the link's right there, and the planning board process is also indicated there as well. 
So I appreciate everyone's time, appreciate your interest, and I look forward to uh, hopefully seeing you in person sometime soon. But if not, then um, feel free to give me a call or, or, um, or chat on Facebook or whatever you prefer. So have an awesome night. Thank you so much.